Are you courageous enough to make a big sign of the cross in a public place? I'm asking because I have seen Catholics who were embarrassed to make the sign of the cross even at the cemetery while they were standing at the graveyard of their loved one before the final commendation. Some people are unable to make the sign of the cross even in their own homes before a dinner. Brothers and sisters, by making the sign of the cross, we express our belief in the Most Holy Trinity. We recall the day of our baptism, giving praise to God for the gift of faith. I still remember the moment when my mother taught me how to make that precious sign. I could be four or five years old. Who taught you how to make the sign of the cross? Be grateful to that person. We Catholics should recall the presence of the Trinity every single day. I know there are some people in our society who might feel uncomfortable when we pray, but there are also others who would remember that we are not ashamed of our belief, and maybe, because of our boldness, they will find God one day. I had many great conversations with strangers who wanted to talk to me after seeing me making the sign of the cross and praying before a meal in different food courts. It is amazing how the sign of the cross can build a relationship with a stranger and even with a whole community. Maybe because Father, Son and the Holy Spirit live in relationship of self-giving love. It is a community of the three persons that do everything in unity. All creation was made in love and unity. That is why we see an amazing harmony in the universe. We were created in love and unity as well. Amazingly, God wants to share his concept of life with you and me. His love was revealed to us in Jesus. In today's Gospel we read, God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. Our God is a relational God, and we have a similar nature to his. However, some choose to live in isolation for different reasons. I have heard people saying, they didn't need a church community to pray to God. May the celebration of this Trinity Sunday help us to renew our understanding that we are created by one God revealed to us in three persons. Therefore, we are called to live and worship in a community in addition to our private prayers. May the reality of communion that occurs inside the Holy Trinity help us to avoid separation from others. Dear friends, let us try to live in unity, respecting those around us. May peace and reconciliation be the daily bread of our parish communities. To sum up, let us find time to praise our loving God both individually and as a church gathered to celebrate the sacraments. Let us pray that each time when we make the sign of the cross, we express our faith in the Most Holy Trinity and give witness to others. So let us make it with reverence, love and gratitude for the gift of faith we received when we were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.